at the end of my show, Marquee Secret, with Diego Diaz, the designer of my Marquee Secret number three. Okay, so Diego, how does it feel now that it's all over? Wow, it's a relief. Um, it was a lot of, you know, a lot of hard work, but now it's over. Everyone loved it. Um, so I'm happy it was a success. Tell me, what was your inspiration for your clothes? The inspiration to my clothes, actually, it was sort of menswear inspired women's wear. What made you get into this menswear, women's wear inspired stuff? I come from a family of sewers, tailors, and dressmakers, so it's something that I've been around. And I originally started my career as a menswear designer. Uh, so sometimes a lot of the influences that I draw are that I, I draw from are menswear influences because what used to really annoy me about women's wear when I start to get into it is that they don't make women's wear with the tailoring and quality of menswear, which I just thought there was a void in that market. So I said, look, when I do women's wear, I'm going to make sure that I put menswear quality, menswear tailoring into my women's wear. Wow, you know, then I think that's interesting because what I like about what I see you do is I think that your clothes for men are fun. And I'm always looking for fun men clothes. I, it's interesting that you say that the women's clothes don't have the men's wear tailoring when I feel that um, we need men's designers to do some more fun clothes for men. And I think that you do that. So how did you wind up incorporating that fun feeling into the men's clothing as well? Well, I don't know. I guess I've re I believe in making things different, like, you know, stirring things up a bit. So I purposely do a lot of things like I'll use men's fabrics for women's and women's wear fabric for men's, which is for the main, re the main reason why a lot of people find the clothing so interesting is they don't really realize that those are not traditional fabrics used in men's wear. You see those fabrics in women's wear all the time, but you make it into a, a men's garment and people don't even recognize that it's the same fabric that they see all the time. Okay. So give me an example in your collection of which piece was a woman's fabric that you use for the men's and vice versa. Uh, the sweaters are a good example. For instance, there is the cowl neck eyelash sweater. It was a black sweater with a big cowl neck. I was wondering, that was the real eyelash or is that just the name of a fabric? No, 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 it's polyester. That's just the name of the fabric because the little, uh, the little fuzzy things look like eyelashes, so they call it eyelash. They really call it eyelash. Wow. We learned something new. There's some eyelash fashion fabric for sweaters. Okay. And I had eyelash in two colors. I had, the, I had that golden brown and I had the black. Okay, so in the women's clothes, what made them men's wear? Well, you might not have, a lot of people didn't notice, but most, uh, I would say at least 80% of the women's garments are made from men's wear fabric. Like, for instance, the one outfit with the, it was a pinstripe skirt, uh, and it had a, a, the bottom of it was white, and it was sort of asymmetric. The bottom of the skirt is actually what is men's uh, white shirt. Uh, fabric like shirting and the actual body of that skirt is actually men's suit fabric and the actual the the top of it that was the purple stripes that's actually men's jacket lining that's actually jacket lining from menswear so the entire outfit was all traditional menswear fabrics wow and you made it so feminine right. so that is really an art so wait a minute do you think do you make the men's wear feminine too <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I, this is how I feel. A lot of the things that I, the, the menswear that I showed today, it was a little casual, informal. It was just sort of fun. My menswear collection is a whole different, it's a whole different subject. I do a lot of different things. Okay, so I can't wait to see your menswear. So you have a whole lot in store for me then? Yes, I do. I have a whole lot in store for you. Can you tell me anything about any of your ideas that you want to do for the men's collection? Well, I guess um, what I'm focusing on right now is pants. Just basically because as a man, my biggest problem is I can't find a proper pair of pants. And um, What do you mean a proper pair of pants? What uh, pants that fit nice and are flattering to the body. Uh, it's, it's really difficult trying to go and just find a pair of nice black pants in the store. You could get the pants to hang off your butt like everybody else. I don't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and neither do I. So um, I can't wait to see your men's collection at Marquee Secret the next time. So um, stay tuned for Diego's menswear design.